Oh. Well, it's a uh, third time trying to record. Uh, the first time, uh, it seemed like the camera just went blank. Like there, I just got a black screen and it acted like it was shutting off and coming back on like the uh, phone itself or something. It kind of went to the home screen. So didn't seem I wasn't acting up any more than that. Um, if you'll notice, I trimmed my whiskers so they weren't poking out over my lip like they were the past few days that I've been recording and noticing it. And I've mentioned it a couple of times in the videos. But um, this last time, uh, I was just starting to record, and uh, somebody had pulled up over at the neighbor's. I didn't know it was, but the dogs had been barking. And then they had pulled up from over there and pulled into my driveway, and it was Jehovah Witnesses. Um, had, you know, I had to go outside and keep Lay Bird at bay because she likes to jump on people. She don't hurt nobody, but she's a big old dog. And uh, we just had a small conversation. Uh, uh, I don't have any particular opinion myself based on anything uh, other than uh, that most people that I've ever met from that church have always been nice and kind to me, so I don't prejudge them or anything. And I let them know that. But I got to share a little bit about, you know, me, uh, where I've been going for the past year and uh, that I have been working hard on staying sober, even though here and there I slip up sometimes. But um, for the most part, I've uh, had some pretty good track records. I'm not patting myself on the back, but when I get a few months in and haven't drank in a few months each time, uh, you know, that's a lot coming from where I used to be where like I couldn't even get a few days in without wanting something uh, you know get to hankering the less you do it the less you want it it seems uh, or it works that way for me uh, the, you know I'm going to read from don't switch small stuff it's all small stuff number 46 uh, I didn't pre-read this one I started reading it into the camera and then the camera cut off so or I was about to anyway. 46, every day tell at least one person something you like, admire, or appreciate about them. How often do you remember or take the time to tell people how much you like, admire, or appreciate them? For many people, it's not often enough. In fact, when I ask people how often they receive heartfelt compliments from others, I hear answers like, I can't remember the last time I received a compliment. Hardly ever. And sadly, I never received them. There are several reasons why we don't vocally let others know about our positive feelings towards them. I've heard excuses like, they don't need to hear me say that, they already know, and I do admire her, but I'm too embarrassed to say anything. But when you ask the, the would-be recipient if he or she enjoys being given genuine compliments and positive feedback, the answer nine times out of ten is, I love it. Whether your reason for not giving compliments on a regular basis is not knowing what to say, embarrassment, feeling that other people already know their strengths and don't need to be told, or simply not being in the habit of doing it, it's time for a change. Telling someone something that you like, admire, or appreciate about them is a random act of kindness. It takes almost no effort once you get used to it, yet it, <clears throat> it takes almost no effort once you get used to it, yet it pays enormous dividends. Many people spend their entire lifetimes wishing that other people would acknowledge them. They feel this especially about their parents, spouses, children, and friends, but even compliments from strangers feel good if they are genuine. Letting someone know how you feel about them also feels good to the person offering the compliment. It's a gesture of loving kindness. It means that your thoughts are geared toward what's right with someone. And when your thoughts are geared in a positive direction, your feelings are peaceful. Yeah, you know, it's pretty simple sometimes. Uh, if my thoughts are in a pretty good place, then my feelings inside of my what I'm feeling emotionally will usually be pretty good too, you know. 
The other day I was in the grocery store and witnessed an incredible display of patience. The checkout clerk had just been chewed out by an angry customer, clearly without good cause. Rather than being reactive, the clerk diffused the anger by remaining calm. When it was my turn to pay for my groceries, I said to her, I'm so impressed at the way you handled that customer. She looked me right in the eye and said, thank you, sir. Do you know you're the first person ever to give me a compliment in this store? It took less than two seconds to let her know, yet it was a highlight of her day and of mine. Yeah, you know, uh, I noticed a lot of, you know, what's in this book uh, is just some common sense type stuff. If we take the time to think about it and uh, and analyze what a, a said situation is or something, we can come up with, you know, if you got a little bit of common sense, sometimes things like that can work out pretty easy in your head or you can work out a scenario and uh, what you need to do and say, how you approach things and act, you know, like, uh, of course on a bad day. I mean, I've had plenty of bad days where I've went out and, uh, gotten frustrated with someone at a store or something, you know, that they, it's just like, I don't know who's ringing the register or doing whatever in the store, what kind of days in they're having until you start talking and then they don't know exactly what, you know, you go in there in a bad mood and then they're in a bad mood and then you <laughs> misinterpret something and you <laughs> be snappy and snappy or something. Uh, you know, you got to, or for me, I try not to do that. I try to, uh, but that's, uh, you know, of course, there are days where it happens. And uh, on those days, the key for me is about acknowledging it, pulling back, correct, you know, like realizing sometimes it ain't until I walked out of the store that I realized the thought or feeling I had towards a uh, said situation was not necessarily uh appropriate or anyone's fault but i realizing then you know a little patience on my part can uh, go a long way also it does uh in my daily everyday life if i choose to adhere to it i know all the time the spirits always tell me slow down a little bit be patient don't be in such a hurry it's like this morning i'm already feeling a hurry i got an appointment at 2 30 to the doctor hopefully I don't know, man. When I'm changing the direction on my toe, I'm not liking the way it looks. Uh, it looks pretty gnarly. But uh, just taking my antibiotics and stuff. Hopefully, I go there and come away with a like an answer on, is he going to cut it off or are we going to wait another little while and see what happens? Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, like one way or another, whether it has to come off or it doesn't have to come off, I kind of hope to have a little bit more clarity today on that uh, issue. Like if it is going to come off, then where are we on getting it done? Like between now and next week is, and if it's not coming off immediately, I imagine that we probably, I might have another week and then another appointment, but we'll see. I do have a ride set up. I need to get off here and uh, I need to think about getting to the post office too. I got the uh, action figure boxed up to send to my buddy in Colorado that won the action figure for my giveaway on Instagram. And I got another box uh, boxed up for friend Teresa, Mama Teresa and her husband. And if I can manage it, I'm going to try to take these shoes back that um, I just got to go to a UPS store. My friend uh, Mike Hernandez had them sent to me and they're not big enough or they're not, it's gotta be a 13 wide, but he put into the system that it should be, it can be returned. And I got up to the first of February. If I get to the UPS store, all I gotta do is pull up the email. He uh, forward that to me to have the code and the print out of the uh, label they got to put on there to send it back to Amazon. So that's my day. That's going to be part of the day. Uh, you know, so everybody, I hope you have a good day and uh, keep your head up. Until next time, Mr. Cloud, Gray Cloud, J A S O N, um, Sage of the Eternal Moment, over and out. Ditto.